Hey boys. Hey girls. I'm Crystal. And I'm Dylan. And together we are the, the Ride, Ride Share, Share Hub. Hub. And in today's video, guys, we're talking about the best times to drive Uber and Lyft in Los Angeles, California. Yes, Los Angeles, California. The city of angels. The city of stars. The city of depressed celebrities. <laughs> No, I don't know. Um, depressed actors and models yeah. because they get rejected all the time. Um, just kidding. It's a great place and we figured we should devote an entire video to the best times to drive in Los Angeles, California. Um, if you're thinking about driving to LA, this, a lot of these things will uh, overlap with other big cities across the United States. We're talking about New York, talking about Chicago, Atlanta, New Orleans, maybe, um, Phoenix, Arizona, Timbuktu, Idaho, I don't know. Um, we're, we're talking about LA and Crystal, you want to introduce yourself and share a little bit about yourself? Yes, so I am a freelance makeup artist and I model, I create content, I do background acting, but my main thing is freelance makeup artistry and I also drive for Uber and Lyft. To supplement my income yeah and she you know just happens to drive in Los Angeles California so I have also driven in LA I drive mostly in well, I'm not gonna say where because I'm trying to remain a little mysterious but I drive pretty close and I come here every now and then um, so yeah she's been driving for a year and a half in LA and she knows the best times to drive because if you drive in the wrong times guys you are going to fail I know <laughs> it's it's a bad word but we all learn from our failures so hopefully you can learn from ours instead of your own but anyways let's get right into it give the video a thumbs up subscribe you know the drill what are the best times to drive in LA okay one of the best times to drive in LA is in the morning when everybody's going to work so this is Mon we're talking about Monday through, Monday through Friday. Friday yes so that is like 7 30 to 9 30 great time to drive 7 30 9 30 yeah, yeah. Um, the second time, best time would be when everybody's going home from work so that can start as early as 4 p.m. so 4 to 7 p.m. yeah great time to drive yeah also a lot of traffic probably during that time too right a lot of traffic uh-huh what are your how do you kind of avoid that maneuver through that um, traffic okay, times so you can't really avoid the traffic rush hour so I mean if you obviously if you're a driver for Uber and Lyft then you probably don't get road, road rage hopefully you don't and you have patience so I mean just have patience mm -hmm. <laughs> embrace day. embrace the traffic embrace it. Yeah. you're getting paid to sit in traffic this is Think true about that. yeah do you listen do you listen to podcasts or anything while you or do you just Music. If I have a passenger in my in my vehicle, no. I just listen to music. I listen to the radio mm -hmm. or Pandora. Yeah. yeah. So we're talking about Monday through Friday, uh, peak peak hours, morning rush hour, evening rush hour. Have you ever done like really early morning like airport rides like before seven? Like I'm talking like four or five a.m. Have you ever no. gone up that early? I have not gotten up that early to drive. <laughs> Yeah, no. that's a little early. Um, I know a lot, if you do want to try to wake up super early and start driving at 4 a.m., you can and hit those airport rides. The reason I do say that is because there will not be as much traffic and you can kind of, um, you know, get a lot of rides because not a lot of drivers will be out. So those are the weekend times those in LA. Weekday or week, times. weekday times, mm -hmm. sorry. Transitioning to weekends, nighttime. Let's talk about nighttime driving. So nighttime, everybody's out and about. West Hollywood is a really good place where people are always out. It's just Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, would you say Thursday too? Yeah, Thursday. A lot of people go out on Thursday night. So, so it's Friday, Saturday, and Thursday as well. Kind yeah. of is not as busy, but still pretty busy at night. Mm-hmm. And, um... At the beach, like Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach in the evenings, um, Santa Monica in the evenings, uh, West Hollywood in the evenings, people are out, and pretty much all day at Universal Studios. 
great time to drive. Yeah. Um, do you drive Sundays ever? Yes. I drove for a couple hours yesterday, which was a Sunday. What time? I drove in that evening, like around 5. So it was okay. Yeah. But, um, I mean, in LA, every hour is a decent hour. It's just, we're talking about the best times. The best times, so. yeah. I would say, like, if you're gonna drive on a Sunday, take some airport rides because it's gonna be busy over there. Honestly, the great thing about driving Uber and Lyft in Los Angeles that we, that is like better than any other city. Well, I guess better than like smaller cities is that there's really not a bad time to drive. Mm -hmm. You're gonna pretty much get rides any hour of the day. Whereas, and if you're driving in, I don't know. Arkansas there's gonna be times where you're like waiting an hour in between rides like seriously it could be bad yeah. I had somebody comment on my video today saying she waited four hours in, oh between. My God. <laughs> oh in my. between a ride and she's like she's like I don't know what to do you know uber's not paying my bills I just waited four hours in between a ride have you ever experienced that in Los Angeles I'm um, in Los Angeles like there was a time where I felt like it was really, really slow. Like, I wasn't picking up any rides. I think it was, like, a Sunday. Yeah. And I don't remember what area I was in, but it was kind of slow. So, it happens. It's rare, but it does happen. If you, if you situate, the best thing to do is to create a schedule. Find the busiest times to drive, right? The week, like, we just went over. Monday through Friday morning rush hour, evening rush hour, mm -hmm. fr Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, and then Saturday, like, Sunday midday evening. Create your own schedule that works with your schedule, and then try to hit those, try to hit those hours as much as you can, and then, like, add on more time as well, um, like, based on your energy <laughs> levels. <laughs> if you feel like driving, then keep driving. If you don't, then... Save your energy so you can hit those peak times. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense to you? Yes, it makes sense. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Another great time to drive is when there's an event going on. Yes. So, like, a concert Thank you. or a game. So, like, L.A. Lakers, L.A. Dodgers, um, just concerts in general. Like, those are great times to work. Do you drive there on your own or do you wait till you get like a ride to there so personally I would wait until I get a ride to there or yeah. I can enter the destination that I want to end up there mm. um I personally do you use destination mode a lot yeah I use it at least twice a day oh Uber. really yeah okay. and like Lyft gives you six times six yeah, yeah so yeah I use it and it works and pretty LA, well you've you. got to use it because you're going to be yeah. like across LA and you're going to want to get home. How, you're going to want to get paid to go home. How much I mean? will you wait? How long do you wait if you're on destination mode to get a new ride? Um, It varies, but the only time I use destination mode is to go to LAX yeah. or to go home. And gotcha. usually I'm waiting like around 10, 15 minutes at the longest. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, in my market, destination mode is not that great because there's just not as many people. So, yeah. Like, sometimes you have to wait a long time, like an hour. Ugh. So I just don't even bother. Yeah, because that's a time waster. Or I'll just put it on and drive. Like, if I'm going to go home, I'll put it on and then just start driving home. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I'll get a ride or, like, I usually don't count on it. But, like, if I happen to, then cool. But if not, then I usually don't. So, yeah, um, that makes sense. But yeah, so, again, back to events. So, you try to get a destination right there. Is that what you said? Yeah, so I try, if I want to end up there, I mean, yeah. I could put it in as a destination trip and then get somebody going that way. That way I can pick somebody up there and take them wherever they need to go. Mm -hmm. um, but usually I don't do that for events. I don't drive around for events. It's just a tip because prices are always surging around them. Okay, yeah, yeah. sure, yeah. Um, cool. Well, I think that's pretty much it, right? Do you have yeah. any last pointers for all the LA drivers out there? 
no, no less pointers. Just get out there and drive and just got to put in the time to do it. Yeah, if you've signed up and you're like anxious or nervous about doing your first trip, it'll be okay. It will be okay. Trust me. Well, maybe don't trust me, but we, it should be okay. <laughs> do your best out there. Get out there. Do a couple rides. You know, do, if you're doing, if you're starting out, if you're a newbie driver, do your first 10 rides, like, in the middle of the day on, like, a, like a weekday when it's not, like, super busy. Mm -hmm. Probably when it started at, like, Friday night at midnight for your first ride. <laughs> <laughs> um, start doing it uh, at the middle of the day. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Any last words? No, no last words. Just good luck out there. Stay safe. Stay safe out there, guys. All right. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll talk to you all soon. This has been another episode of The Ride Share Hub. Bye, guys. Bye.